In today's episode, we're going to look at five of my favorite hex downloads and wait for the end because the last one is really cool. So in order to use any of these hex tools, you need to have downloaded and installed hex on your home assistant. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Alarma. Now this is really, really cool. I've played around with it a bit and I'm going to do a video showing you how to install this soon. Now Alarma is basically creating your own alarm system within Home Assistant. So what you would do is you would connect up your sensors. So you'd need some door and window sensors. You may have some PIR or millimeter wave and any other sort of sensors and then you would install this. And what Alarma allows you to do is have a really involved workflow alarm system that can work completely on its own without any sort of traditional alarm system. It also allows you then to send alerts to yourself via your mobile integration. So this is an amazing system. Next up, I've got the Mushroom card. Now, Mushroom is a great little way of improving the look and feel of your Home Assistant dashboard. So as you can see, it's got some really cool light controls. Um, it's got people uh, notifiers here. It's got um, all sorts of different options. And Mushroom is always updating this and coming with new cards. So well worth trying out. Music Assistant, this is not something that I've tried as yet but I'm really keen to try it. It is beta software, so be aware there may be some bugs in there. But basically what this does, allows you to play music that you've either got stored locally or you've streamed in from Spotify and things and play it back on various different types of music or speakers that you've got on your network. So let's give that one a try. Um, next up, we've got adaptive lighting. So this is another one that is looking at controlling of lighting and it's syncing it in with the movements of the sun. So it gives you that feeling of a sort of uh, maybe a brighter light during the day and a sort of a warmer light in the afternoon evenings. Finally, we've got Spook. So Spook has specially been designed by Frink and this is a cool little thing that floats around inside your network and finds all sorts of problems that may be existing within your home assistant network anyway that's all for now try them out let me know what you think and drop me a comment in the description below if you've got any one cool ones that i might have missed out here thanks for now if you like this channel please like and subscribe bye for now